In our worldview today, Lebanon has a new leader for the first time in more than a year. The country's richest man, Najib Mikadi, was tapped to become the next prime minister Friday, ending months of per- political paralysis. Lebanon hasn't had a functioning government in place since former Prime Minister Hassan Diab resigned just days after the Beirut port explosion that killed more than 200 people in August of last year. That sent the country in free fall with the value of the currency collapsing and unemployment and inflation skyrocketing. Three quarters of the population in Lebanon now living in poverty. China and the U.S. are talking again, at least for now. The White House saying President Biden and President Xi Jinping held a 90-minute call on Thursday. That marks just the second time the two leaders have spoken in a sign of ongoing tensions between the countries. The White House says the two discussed the responsibility of both countries to ensure competition doesn't veer into conflict. But the official Chinese summary says she blamed U.S. government policies towards China for straining relations between the two sides. The call marked the first communication between these leaders since February. And rescue crews are continuing to search for survivors in central Mexico after torrential rain triggered the town, triggered across, uh, triggered floods, I should say, across the town of Tula. At least 17 people are dead and 2,000 homes damaged after days of heavy rain prompted the local river to burst its banks. The majority of the deaths occurred at a hospital that was treating COVID-19 patients. Mexican President Andres Manuel Lopez Obrador called on residents to seek higher ground and remain in shelters while the cleanup continues.